Hello and welcome back to Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. And the last part, we kind of revived the Vow God, or at least paid tribute to it. Because, you know, I kind of was pulling out Furies out of the thing. But, we also saw another side of Tiara in this, what seems to be an alternate dimension or reality? That was seemed to be pulled through from that mysterious time rift. Or rather, spatial rift, whatever you want to call it. It's all interesting though, we did a little bit in the last part, and now we're going to continue onwards because honestly I'm really curious about the split personality thing. Like is it going to apply to other characters as predominantly as others, or is it mostly just going to be Tiara? Who knows? I just kind of wanted to save this for the next part. I can't help wondering where Fang is. If he's by himself, he must be starving to death. Ah oh, no, my boy. Lord Sherman, did you learn anything? Any new intel? It seems our situation is much more complicated than I had thought initially. Take a look at this. No? Well? What is it? A newspaper? And the date is from forever ago. So we did kind of go back in time, just to what seems to be an alternate reality? From our perspective, it is indeed. But as far as the town is concerned, this is today's paper. Huh. Traveled back in time? No. Nah. That was my first thought. But that alone wouldn't explain Tiara's unusual behavior. True. Affirmative. Though it defies logic, my analysis shows that there is a 91.3% chance that this is a past version of our world. Huh. When you put it like that. Something else caught my attention as I was walking around town. Oh. The flower shop girl and the cafeteria manager. Everyone I know here is acting... odd. Possibly more aggressive? What do you mean, odd? Similar to Tiara. The normally polite, elegant flower girl was talking like a construction worker. But that wasn't the worst one. Oh. The normally even-tempered cafeteria manager. Just thinking about it is giving me goosebumps. Oh, dang. Uh, I see. This is almost certainly the past. There are still too many unanswered questions that must be answered as quickly as possible. Yeah. But, what can we even do? I mean, I really want to know. First, let's leave Tiara B for now. We should search for the others. Fang, for example. Oh, uh, so we're not going to have Tiara for a while, it seems like? If you exist here, I have no doubt that he also exists within this world as well. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, that is true, because when we did, um, kill Ethel... I mean, we did see that Karen did fade from existence, or at least from a physical plane, from our world, but... Aaron's still here, so yeah, Fang has to be out there somewhere. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. He's my partner, so if something happened to him, I wouldn't exist anymore. Exactly. Then starting tomorrow, let us begin our search for Fang. Please take today to rest up. Huh? Are you leaving? We're not staying in the same room? I mean, isn't that generally how it goes with, you know, these type of things? Boy and girl under the same roof, they don't know each other far too well. Hey, oh. Of course not. We may be fairy and human, but you are still a lady. Give each other some privacy. Oh, and I paid for our rooms out of my own pocket. I couldn't bring myself to use our group funds. Oh. Well then, pleasant dreams. Total opposite of Fang. Eh. Now then, we should get going. Do you have any thoughts on where Fang could be? I'm actually real curious. Oh, um, before that, there's something I want to take care of. I have all the furies we've gathered so far, right? How have you managed to keep a hold of them? Like, when have someone like fallen out or that? Is there like a magical way to store them? I don't know. In the places where they were before. If there are other furies there, we should probably get them. I see. If this is indeed the past, then the same villains from before may be after those very same furies. True. And I bet Fang would think of that too. So maybe we should check out the places where Fang first got the furies. 
Or it might be all about an opposite thing, where like how Tiara was just kind of like an antagonist there for a bit. I have no objection. Let's head to the first location right away. You know what character I'm especially curious about, by the way? Ethel. Okay, let's go. Like, if she's still alive, well, she might be. I don't know. Um, as is she gonna change, and is she gonna be able to like speak, or is she gonna say something silly like "life, life, life" instead of "kill, kill"? Oh my gosh, I'm so curious. What about folks like Galdo? Because he was a lovable lug or Pepran. Oh my. Anyway, let's just look at this Godly revival. Oh, Shampoo and just sound effect. All right. Transition complete. We have arrived at the space between the Five God and the Goddess. Um, just as I thought. My chairman? What are you talking about? Well, we were able to come here even without Tiara. I think that may be because of your power. Well, I mean, she has linked to the goddess, right? Oh. Because you're part of the goddess. You may be linked with her sealed self. Even if only slightly. I believe you may have unconsciously followed that link. Even for a fairy, it is an unusual phenomenon. But there's a high probability that this is what happened. I see. So wait, is that what might apply to like folks like, I don't know, Bernard or um, Tiara then? Because they're linked to the vile god, so wouldn't that make some sense? Indeed, Reishin is right that such spatial movement is beyond the scope of a fairy's power. It makes sense that Eren could do it, but Kiwi is a normal fairy, so it should be impossible. Yeah. Ever going by this logic. What, Shaman? Is something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. But of course, you know, TR just kind of hid behind that. The reason TR was able to come he here before must be because... Yeah. Alright, well we're not going to pull out any furies for now. I was just curious about this little event. Because we are still very much a one-man crew. And, you know, I'd prefer to have actual more partners before pulling out swords. So, let's talk to Aaron together with Sherman. How are you? Feeling out calmer? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. As long as I've got you around, I guess I don't have anything to worry about. She sounds like she's trying to convince herself. I suppose I'm no replacement for him. Yeah, you ain't a replacement for my boy, Fang! What are you mumbling about? Oh, nothing. Because, I mean, imagine how much more, like, differently this game could have been if Sherman was, like, the actual protagonist from, like, the get-go. They wouldn't have had the same experience, surely. Anyhow! We've been sent back into the past, and not even the same world as before. I wonder, what does fate expect of me now? I am unable to answer such ambiguous questions without any amount of accuracy. I don't expect you to have an answer for me. I'm sure I'll find out eventually, whether I like it or not. Oh, and now we get to converse with Fuyushu. I'm sure I don't have to ask, but do you believe that really was Tiara? As I indicated before, there is only a not 2% chance of it being someone else. So it really is her, huh? If you'd like further verification, I'd be happy to request a DNA sample. No, no, there's no need for that. Yeah. I mean, it's very convincing, especially by appearance. Okay, nothing new from the sales court. Oh, the Yatagan Lava Force. Now, is this going to be different? Oh, you go into the Yatagan Lava Force? It's a cave system at the base of Mount Yatagan. A volcano northwest of town. Make sure you stay on the path or you'll fall into the magma. Some of the paths are unsimilar to it, so please be careful. Okay. Right. Found Plaza Town. Oh, are you sure? It's rare to see you without Lawrence Sherman nearby. Yeah. Things have got very strange. That's well, fairies. We need to stick together. Yeah. It's just the fact that Reishin's a mecha, though. It just doesn't make sense. Um, you're allowed to talk, you know. Meh. Oh. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you can only talk to Lord Sherman. Negative. I have merely determined that there is no need for conversation. Well. Ah, so you can talk. Meh. And back to the sound treatment. That situation's already pretty dire as it is. It'd probably be best if we could cooperate, you know? We're the only three you remember the old world, right? So come on! I am confident Shaman can resolve our current situation with neither deficiency nor excess effort. Ah, uh, well, it's Lord Shaman, so I don't disagree. However, I must acknowledge 
the need to at least consider help from a third party. Really? Great, then let's do our best together. I will be analyzing our progress and conclude whether help is necessary based on my ob observations. <laughs> like, what does that even mean? Hey! Oh boy, lordy. Right. Hopefully these aren't too long. Because I'm more so interested about the main event and these sub events. Although I'll be pretty intrigued to see if they've changed. You sure do eat a lot for sub of your size. It's been all it takes since I had such a voracious customer. Your fish are so good. I can't stop myself. I can't think of the last time I had such amazing meals. Oh boy, what a little chopper you are. You know, you might be out of myself when I was young. I look forward to seeing how you grow. <laughs> hey, what? Alright, let it buy! Hey, Vista! How do I become president? Mm, let's see, if you want a card and become a good leader, you have a good shot at it. Ah, that's not hard. I don't think I can do it. That's not true. You just have to keep working at it, and I'm sure you become a, can become a president. If it's what you really want, hold justice within your heart, face the world of a strong eye, and do your very best. Anyhow, young woman! Look at the pill! Is something wrong? Yeah, actually, I'm not worried. I see. Well, all you can do for now is believe in yourself. And your partner will reveal itself to you. Believe in the me that believes in you, Aaron. That's actually pretty profound. But who are you? Wasn't she a fortune teller? Hey, lady! I oh, see you walking around with that super cute guy. Is he your boyfriend? I mean, Marsha, no, he and I are like that. Hey, what's this? You two are like friends and benefits. Wait, how does a girl at such a young age even know that little sentence? Where did you learn a phrase like that? Gosh. Youngins now, these days. Well, I'm talking about we have youngins that play games like the Cavadotes and the GTAs and the games of death. Um, anyhow. Wow, what a cute outfit. Can I ask where you bought it? Uh, I didn't actually buy it from it, you know. It's more like custom made. Really? I sure do wish I could buy it from somewhere. Would you mind if I touched it? Hey, wait, the wings are part of- Ah! Oops, it came off. Ow! Oh, that was hard. Oh, <laughs> hey, you, you are a fairy, aren't you? What the? I said you could step me. Uh, that's kind of a surprise. I'm kind of amazed you can tell just by smell. I try. That's pretty easy to tell if everybody's a smell. Smell gosh, I don't admit this, but you smell strong this way. Have you been fit, even properly, young lady? <laughs> that was busted. My wife refuses to do any of the household chores. Jeez, that's a wife's job, right? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're working hard at your job, at least you can do this help. I'll pout around the house, I guess. Oh no, I'm un unemployed. Wow, you lazy slob. I mean... Women being housewives is very much subjective. I don't gonna really touch the subject too much. I mean, it's stereotypical, yeah. But that's just stereotyping, isn't it? But whatevs. I mean, there's plenty of men that do household work. And vice versa. So there's a fury here, yes? Or rather, there was. Yeah, Fang knows all about this place. If he had the same idea as us, there's a good chance he would head here. Hopefully, I, I want the man back. If I'm being honest, part of me wonders if Fang would really think things through that far. Uh... Analysis of his speech patterns, behavior, and general personality indicates a non-zero probability that this is true. Oh man. Part of me does agree with you. Oh, uh, but my boy. But, but still, we don't have any other leads, right? Besides, I'm curious about the fury. Why don't we give it a shot, okay? I mean, we may as well come out with something. Very well. You know, all oh, right. So we are venturing through the Yatagan Lava Falls once again. I mean, the enemies still look very much the same. We're gonna still skip them because I don't really plan to do grinding until we have at least, you know, a few more party members or so. It'd be preferable. 
Because I would imagine that would be too difficult at the moment. I do want to see my Ooh. Ooh, nice. I open this. Troops feathers. Alright. You know that swimsuit parka would actually be a kind of appropriate tire for here. You know, I always dress for the occasion. Why not? That, that, that's not it. <laughs> Why did I get to the back tower? Whoops a daisy. Oh, well. There we go. Oh. Jeez. I couldn't believe some of the stuff I heard coming out of Tiara's mouth. She was so vulgar. The Tiara I know acted like a proper little princess. But maybe this is her true nature. I'd be fine with this. I mean, vulgar characters are always kind of hilarious. Hmm. I mean, I enjoy them quite a bit in Gumball Heart games. Like, I like characters like Blonde. Was there a vulgar character in Mugen Souls though? It's been a while, I believe there was. Shushu was kind of, um, vulgar. Or at least pretty sassy, which was actually kind of enjoyable. Don't recall but there being one in Omega Quintet though. Can't really say much about Trillian either. But yeah, they're kind of fun to be around. I think they add a good amount of spice to it. Huh? What's wrong, Lord Sherman? Are you getting tired? No. I was just gazing at the landscape and feeling a bit sentimental. You don't have to be concerned. A little bit of nostalgia, that's fine. Taking time to admire the view, even now. That's so like you, Lord Sherman! Hey, why don't I go and scout ahead? You're kind of sparkling. I wonder if the reason for her sudden change is... Hmm? Oh? Well, I'll have a flashback. Oh. You are the last person I would have expected to come calling. Are you here to pick a fight? Ah, oh, this is interesting. So wait, is this what happened to the hot springs thing then? Do you think I would simply appear before you if I did? Huh. You should be smart enough to know better than that, at least. Oh, he confessed with Bernard, eh? Then state your business. I wouldn't want someone to spot the two of us meeting in secret and get the wrong idea. Yeah, true. Someone within your group of friends carries the blood of the vile god. And it makes sense that Bernard would be able to say it said because he's also a descendant. <sighs> That's all I wanted to tell you. So you should probably be on your guard. He speaks nonsense. Although, the same crest Bernard displayed also appeared on Tiara's forehead. Which means Tiara and the vile god really are. Hmm. Is something wrong, Sherman? Your heart rate and body temperature have measurably increased. Oh? Mark my words, Ryushin. If she has inherited the vile god's blood in this world as well, um. then I swear, I will kill her. I mean, that's a big stream. Yeah, she may have had, and may still has, the vile god's blood in her veins, but didn't she want to just, you know, revive the goddess? Initially? Understood. I don't know. But for now, we can only pray that our fates have changed. I mean, she seems to have been going against her bloodline, which is fine, you know, free will and all that. Alright. Um can't no item? Yeah? Oh I really don't want to get into a fight. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, it's treasure. Not too useful right now. Oh we almost went into a fight though. That could be bad. I just have to be a giant right there. Okay. Let me in. I believe we've reached the end of the line. Oh lordy, if it's still the dragon though. <laughs> oh boy, it's torn down! Yeah. It should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Um. What the Oh? Uh. Oh, hold the phone. Ethel and Galdo? Nice. Also, she's got some new dots. May I add? I believe she also wore them in the original at some point. You really gave me a run for my money, but now it's all over. All right, that's kind of appropriate. Galdo chasing down Apple to the great because she was the one who did. She, he, <laughs> whoopsie, was the one who did the deed last time, but still. Go to the antagonist! Galdo? That person he's fighting! Oh no, are we gonna have to beat down Galdo? Uh, 
Hello. They're coming this way. Please wait. We're not your enemy. Oh dang. Huh? Please help. Dorfa is after me. You're speaking? What? You can talk? In Dorfa? What are you talking about? <sighs> oh hey, what's this? Some adoring fans are here to observe my awesomeness? Oh god, he's running his mouth. Well, you're out of luck. We've already reached the end of the game. I don't even need to use my special move. Hey, Goldo! What are you talking about? You're not helping Dorpa, are you? I mean, that seems to be the case. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who said you could talk to me like you know me? Stay back. It would appear he suffered the same fate as Tiara. Yeah. Which means... Hmm. The way you're dressed, I'm guessing you're a fencer, huh? Today's my lucky day. Oh, Lord. I was getting bored chasing after this traitor. But now I get the pleasure of taking care of a stray fencer, too. Oh, so in this timeline, she was working for Dorfa. Goldo, hold on! You're not serious, are you? What's going on in this world? Oh, so this music is picking up. Mm. All we can do for now is push through whatever little problems get in our way. Let's go, Ryushin. Fair eyes. I hope this actually is the case. Negative. After analyzing the target's maximum potential combat capability, I see no need to fuse. Oh my gosh, Ryushin. <laughs> Boy, you talk a big game. Well, I'm going all out right from the beginning. Marissa. Fair eyes! Is she still gonna be the same? Okay. Do your best, Goldikins. I mean, she still seems rather nice. You just sit there and watch, Ethel. Once I destroy this arrogant prick, I'm coming for you next! Oh, no. I see you like to talk just as much as ever. I gotta earn me some street cred. Then I can rise up through the ranks and get rich and famous. Here I come! Aye. To start to fight Galdo. No Stand in my way, and you will die. Ow. Okay, but this is kind of really interesting. Anyhow, let's just start spamming some upper streams. Gonna skip some of the animations for now, because he doesn't have too how far to chew right on through. And you know, Stand in my way, he's gonna have to heal. Oh, ho, ho. okay, doing just that. I can't, can't see, can't see my half. Oh, let me see. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Let's just do another upper stream. Stand in my way, and you Eat. will die. Let's just bare eyes, and then let's heal up just in case. Yeah, we're just doing a little bit closer. You trying to resist or something? No. I'm gonna just do another upper stream. Bam. Annoying little. Yeah, we're gonna attack again. Let's do a gleaming edge. Okay, we'll keep the animations up for now. I mean, it's roughly two more moves we have to do. We can't use another skill for now. He has Mega Cure. Oh, Nelly. Okay. So I have to burst him down, eh? Huh. I'm not sure, how I feel about this, honestly. Right, so let's just heal up, because, I mean, if we get crazy, we might get bonked. Right. How much have to be hot? I kind of want to use this. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll play it safe, we'll play it safe. It wasn't fi uh, exactly 50% though. Which is good, because that would have been absolutely ridiculous, and we'd have been wrong. I still have far to go. All right, level twenty-four. Their eyes out, Goldikins. This isn't good. I hate to say this, but your enemy has you outmatched. But I haven't finished off Ethel yet. I can't back down now. Oh. Uh. As long as you live, you'll always have setbacks. Withdraw for now, and you can mitigate your failure with this new information. Live on, Goldo. Live on. Gosh, you're smart. You always find new ways to surprise me. So then, 
I guess I'll let you all off the hook for today. Caldo, why? <sighs> Hello there. She's been injured badly. We need to tend to her wounds right away. I appreciate the gesture, but we couldn't possibly ask you to do more than you already have. He's right, Lord Sherman. I don't know what they've been through, but I do know we can't trust them. Last time we met, she attacked us. Yeah, but we're going by opposites. I'm afraid I don't recall that. I remember all the missions we completed for Dorfa, but we've never seen you before. Wait, you guys worked for Dorfa? This is totally different from the past I remember. Exactly. We should put all that aside for now. I'll carry you back to the inn. Here, get on my back. Lord Sherman, wait! Are you sure about this? I mean, why not? Those who were once our allies are now our enemies. It may be wiser to trust those who are once our enemies, don't you think? Oh, this is interesting. Oh man, imagine if it was like some of the bosses that we fought as well. Ooh. Well. Further, I believe it would be in our best interest to learn more about Dorfa's movements throughout this world. Yeah, we are. Galdo is working for Dorfa, and it seems Dorfa has been pursuing Tiara as well. This is a thread connecting them all together. If Ethel's been working for Dorfa, it might be good to hear her story. Yeah. We've done everything we can do to treat her. I think all she needs now is plenty of rest. Okay. How can I possibly repay you? If you hadn't shown up, Ethel would be... It's fine. This suits our interests as well. More importantly, what can you tell us about Dorfa? You were working for them, yes? Please tell us. Yes, but the Dorfa we knew just suddenly changed one day. Oh. It was never exactly wholesome, but now it's not even really a company. It's just a bunch of villains trying to rule over others. So wait, just a little bit of speculation right now. So this might have been like an alternate dimension that got kind of like disrupted by the Vile God's Awakening. And you know how pr predominantly Dorfa did want to rule over the world with that said power. You know, with an Iron Fist and all. But maybe doing that just disrupted the balance in this world. And all of a sudden all those people just changed. I don't know! All bit speculation. But I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. To find Dorfa meant death. Clean and simple. Ethel and I couldn't take it anymore, so we tried to escape, but... Then Galda tried to hunt you down. No way! The Dorfa I remember was doing some awful stuff too, but it was never out in the open like that! Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. I believe I've come to understand some small part of this world's secrets. What do you mean? I think you can look at this world as one whose fate has been distorted. Yeah. After our encounter, the vile god's power may have remade our world. This would explain why everyone's personalities have become twisted, and why the past is different from the one we remember. But, but if that's true, then how come you and me are still the same? The only way I could guess is that maybe you protected them? Just before the vile god was resurrected, you invoked the power of the goddess. And I suppose I was in the blast radius, as it were. That could explain why I managed to avoid being influenced by the Vile God's power. Hmm. Which would mean everyone else. They're no longer the ones we once knew. That would be a reasonable assumption, anyway. Yeah. But now it's clear what we must do. Dorfa is to blame without a doubt. If we want to restore our world, we must destroy them. You want to take on Dorfa? You can't be serious. Do you realize just how powerful they are? Eh, we were beating them down once before. Whether we want to or not, there is no other path forward. I want to help too. Oh? Well, I was thinking the same thing, Ethel. I can't believe there are still people in this world who would stand against Dorfa. We're rebelling. Would it be alright if we asked you to add our strength to yours? Heck yeah! You're quite welcome to join us. More allies is never a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. But if we're gonna go up against the vile god, we really are gonna need Fang. 
I agree. Let's renew our search for him tomorrow. I only pray he hasn't become our enemy as well. Oh lordy, that'd be a twist. Where are you? Ethel joined the posse! <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a feeling this is still the same. Right. About Ethel's special command, Assassinate. Assassinate is located in Ethel's command menu. Only Ethel has this special command. Press the triangle on the command menu to activate. This new skill might defeat the sighted enemy after a few turns, regardless of their HP. So it's an insta kill. I said might because it doesn't work all the time, which means there's a chance it might fail. Looks like you all you can do is trust your luck. In certain situations, it might be an enemy that's way out of your league. So you can be swallowed to pinch. Oh, but be aware that won't work in bosses. Yeah. By the way, if I won't be able to perform any actions until Assassinate finishes, so you need to be extra careful about keeping her away from enemies. Yes, this branch is a gimmick. Oh, Dorfa. So, you couldn't dispose of one measly traitor. How useless. I mean, it makes sense Mariana still works for him. Useless, useless. A truly terrible performance. Mm, maybe. But, like I said, some weird fencer got in my way and... Then exterminate this fencer pest immediately. Rebellion against Dorfa is unforgivable. I don't care what it takes, track him down. Okay. And if you fail us again... Yes, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt. But, can't we deal with these traitors and stray fencers whenever we feel like it? Do you have a point, Director Bernard? My point is, there's an order to things. Dorfa has used the Vile God's power to expand rapidly. But there are still all kinds of unknowns. If we want to solidify our control, I think our priority should be finding the last remaining fragment. Oh? You're talking about that TR girl. But as you know, we have no idea where she is. Oh, so she's very important. Then just send him to search for her. Even one more person will hasten her discovery. True. Hmm. Very well. Galdo, join the search for Tiara. And of course, my position on failure has not changed. Huh. I, I completely understand. And you can count on me. Galdo here gets a job done when it counts. We appreciate your full cooperation. Hi. By the way, how is our new president doing? Hey, what? Oh, very well. He's keeping himself entertained by draining our company funds. What? We've limited the costs to the entertainment budget for now, but even our resources are limited. Have Paiga give him a warning. As the president's aide, it's his job to rein in his recklessness. Understood, Deputy President Mariana. Oh. Bernard grows bolder by the day. But of course I realize we couldn't control the Vile God's power without him. Mm -hmm. Either way, I'll have to act soon. Okay, okay, okay. So what level is Ethel? Okay, well we're about the level that we, that we should have been. Right, right. I'm fine with this, I'm fine. But, so she has a rubber hoodie. Oh, she doesn't have an original outfit as an option. You can't unequip the eye patch though, which I honestly prefer it off. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Let's just take it off for now. Let's have some blue horns. Why not? I will keep the swimsuit and park on. Why not? It's a change. Right, so anything else? Oh, received an interesting product. Welcome! I've just got a shipment of some very interesting products from Dorpa. Would you care to take a look? For example, these scarred animal feet on the ground will attract anybody nearby who's hungry. That seems right pointless, is there? A demand for some of them as you gather up a bunch of hungry people? Although, uh -huh, maybe I could use it to attract money. Who the heck knows where it could be right now? <laughs> oh, so you. Are you interested? It's a mere 500,000 G! What do you say? That's way too expensive. Oh dang! Talk about greed. Oh. If I had to describe you in one word, that word would be handsome. I bet your life is a blast. I'm kinda jealous. Are you speaking to me? Thank you, but it's not all fun and games, I assure you. Okay. 
Do you want a special for me for today? I must respectfully decline. Alright, what you got for us, man? Lovely day today, don't you think? Yeah! Giving me the cold shoulder again, huh? We should be eating enough fish and milk. What are you trying to imply? Look down! Did something happen? What's with my face? Did something happen? Well, yeah, kinda. But if you're sad or farting, so I suppose to just cry out. Not in public at first, but in your room or in the shower. <laughs> you all have you deal with it. And therefore, besides, why things up is bad for your skin. And your mental health. That's true, maybe I'll give it a try when I get home. Yeah, just man. I'll show! Would you mind if I ask you a question? Huh? What is it? If your husband wants to give you a bath tea present, what would you prefer? A massage coupon or a bath coupon? What's with the childish presents? You should actually spend a lot of money. <laughs> okay. Aye, oh lady! Please give me a moment of your time. Nobody will keep me company. Oh, really? The handsome man in the way I thought even refused to drink me. Why does everyone seem to want to avoid me? Oh, well, for sure. Sure, I shame your chest and your arms. It's important to get rid of any unwanted hair. Get it? Okay. Right. Tomo is shot. We already been there. That was maybe? Oh, boy. Show. Sure. what would you like for dinner tonight? I'll make whatever favorite dishes you might want. I? I want fish, grilled, or maybe pickled and fried. Eh? What's wrong? Oh, no, I just expected you to ask for some kind of meat dish. I feel like I've made friends before. How would that be? Oh, well. Just all day job for you, I suppose. Anyway, I'll serve up my best fish dishes. I hope you're prepared. Mmm. Ooh, that sounds delish. Lovely fish. Why are you wearing those wings? I'm not wearing them. They're part of me. Part of you? So you're not a human? That's right, I'm actually... Are you some kind of fine person? You like something I saw in a movie once? Hey, that's not a nice thing to say. Jeez, kids these days so rude. Dang, giving us a sass. Hey, have you heard? Apparently there's some nutcase causing a ruckus in the next town over. A nutcase? That sounds unpleasant. What did this nutcase do? He's not um, bothering local women or something, is he? Oh no. I guess he beat up some hoodlum that had been terrorizing the town. They spend the rest of the day lecturing him. Is this Pippin? It looks like, well, it's hard to say. Sort of like a cat frog person combination. And as a sword shot through his head. <gasps> I could be wrong, but I don't believe this person is in that case. He may act and look all strange, but he's a good person. Pippin? That's so beautiful. You must be, be really popular. No, not especially. No need to be humble. If you're having any love troubles, come see you. I'll give you a discount rate on my fortune down. So you still want to charge me? <laughs> hey, how can I get bigger? Hey, lady, you must not care about looks, huh? You really seem like you really like to eat. Uh, that's totally not true. What awful thing to say to someone. Okay, then. The guy wanted to give you a hundred roses. Or a hundred dumplings. What would you pack? The dumpling! I'd be perfectly happy off the roses, I guess. You don't sound so sure. <laughs> well, Aaron's a glutton, eh? Hey there, young lady. How'd you like to have a little drink with me? Ah, you smell like booze. I think I'll pass. I'm busy right now. Come on, have a heart. A little alcohol every day is good for you. That might be true, but you've definitely had more than a little today. Alright, eh? So far in. Lord Sherman, about where we should go next. Corin says she knows where we can find a fury. Oh? Recovering furies was basically our department. So we know exactly where we can find some furies that haven't been collected yet. Can I just say, I'm really digging some of the new soundtracks we're listening to, eh? Then we'll follow your lead. If Fang does decide to go after the Furies, that's the best chance we have of running into him. He just changes it up a bit. We'll just have to put our faith in that for now. Ethel, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm tougher than I look. Okay. Scanning vital signs. Sherman, she is not in peak condition, but her combat ability should not be hindered. Oh. Understood. Then let's go. I'll be counting on you. Alright. Thanks. I'll do my best. Kill Leo? Oh, here you are, Ryushin. Please state your business as concisely as possible. 
It's not business except yeah, I just noticed you never join us in the meet. Be nice if we all eat together. How does a robot eat exactly? Meh. Huh, coming up again. I see no point in responding. I have no need to eat. Hence, no need to join you for meals. Wait, so you don't eat? How come? I see no point in responding. He's a robot! No, the toy is. You'll, um, you'll satisfy my intellectual curiosity. I'm just going to follow you around and tell me. Maybe I shouldn't say this about myself. That could be pretty annoying. My internal combustion engine is linked directly to shaman's energy intake. Therefore, I have no need to supplement my fuel supply of food-based energy sources. Oh, so you're saying as long as Lord Sherman eats, then you don't have to? Affirmative. But that sounds so boring. Eating food for yourself is so delicious. I have determined no need for such a sensation. I do possess the di digestive functionality, but my current situation has many advantages. Right? Like what? Fast, many organisms are extremely vulnerable while consuming food. I can avoid this risk. Come on, you're not somehow that in the savannah. Second, air disease is the overall economic burden which food production creates. Well, I guess I can understand that. Well, is it? No, it's not a compelling reason. But, due to the affirmation connection between Sherman and myself, Sherman has no need for bodily waste disposal. Oh, but Sherman is on per weight. So he's being serious. Affirmative. It's always saying how he doesn't go to the bathroom. But could it really be? I believe I have provided you with a sufficient answer. Yeah. Right, thanks. Huh, I wonder if I could link with fine like that. I really want to email food. Yeah! It's quite rare to see you communicating with anyone other than myself, Ryushin. Chapman. Yes? I believe there is a very high probability that my sense of humor is deficient. Your sense of humor? I apologize, that information was unnecessary. There's no need for you to remember it. Beep boop. Moments. Okay, I guess we'll get these all out of the way. Oh man, what voice for Ethel though? Ethel, are you feeling okay? <clears throat> let's think. Let's think. I'm fine. You got hurt pretty badly. Don't push yourself too hard. I said I'm fine. Well, you sound like a stubborn little kid to me. You're quite the warrior, Aaron. Remember, she is a fencer. If worse comes to worse, we'll be there to back her up, so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> more, more females, I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but it's attempting to voice them. What, should, what, what type of voice should I attempt? Huh? What's wrong, Ethel? I guess we'll just do the TR voice, whatever. I must have started with her. Hey, don't be so rude to Lord Shaman. I'm sorry. Ethel didn't mean to be rude. She's just shy. That's all. Please don't worry about it. Children simply aren't fond of me, for whatever reason. Really? Oh, I'm, so I'm surprised to hear that. You're really friendly. I think kids would love you. It warms my heart to hear you say that. But I imagine the innocence of children allows them to see quite a lot. Yeah. Oh, another of from Ethel! Okay. Ethel's a well-behaved young lady now. Our tiara and Galda turns troublemaker. Everything's all backwards. My Ethel has always been a well-behaved young lady. Oops, you had that... Sorry. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> In a way. I hope we can work well together and take care of each other from here on out, Karen. Thanks, Karen. Also, too. You know, our names are kind of similar, aren't they? Aaron and Karen. Karen and Aaron. <laughs> In case you're fine, maybe that'll help us grow closer. Okay, Sherman. Why? What, Sherman? If anyone can get the effort to join us, you're definitely the right guy for the job. Well, often more up to me quickly, thanks to my attractive outward appearance, of course. They quickly distance themselves again. Don't be so hard on yourself. Real shed. My hope. It's... Oh, no. I had it, but I don't, anyway. Is Ryushin a robot? Negative. I am composed of similar inorganic materials, but I am a living, breathing. 
scratch, scratch. Please do not scratch me like that. Removing nicks and scrapes is quite time consuming. <laughs> what do I go for a zephyr? Hey, Alva. You're all the same as Karen? That's right, we're both fairies. So that's why you're both so small. Hey, I saw that. What is that? Do you mean by small? <laughs> Probably the chest area. Oh, lordy. Whoopsie, I don't intend to do this. Good job, me. Bop. Bop. Okay. Guess we get the summer van out of the way? Why not? <gasps> Lola! Welcome, Bobby, to customer my fury for his first cup myself. What do you think of this price? <laughs> oh, it's really expensive now. Question is, would we be able to manage it with just two now? So you only have two party members, eh? Thank you for your patronage. There's a monster with the soul plane that's hanging on top of you. It might be magic. I'm curious about this one myself. Okay. So let's exit the world map. I think we have a new area, maybe? No! Oh, yeah, we do. Hey, that's Boy Valley, isn't it? I just thought we'd stab it. Good job. I, I, I messed. We're not going in there for now. I'm just going to shank it. Okay. Okay. Yep. But you know what? For now, folks, I'll see you guys next time in Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. This is all well and interesting, though. But anyhow, it's uh, for now.